Dan Springer. Well, my next guest says that these tests are great for unsuspecting men everywhere and will actually stop women from cashing in on their offspring. Well, surprise, surprise, the man with that view is Mark Rudolph, and Lise Will disagrees. Mark, you can't actually believe this. I absolutely <laughs> believe it. Women are untruthful, they're unfaithful, and they're unabashedly mercenary. Uh, the gynojudicial system allows them to commit paternity fraud, and that's exactly what's going on here, as Dan Springer said. You know, they just did a study in New Hampshire. They found 30% of men paying child support were not the biological fathers. And a recent study in Australia of 6,000 DNA tests showed that 25% of the women were lying. So Mark, this is an anti-extortion uh, kit that men need. Mark, Mark, for every woman who is quote-unquote caught by one of these paternity tests, there are about a thousand guys out there who've cheated on her or a woman out there. And you know what, Mark? There isn't a test that you can tell with a guy has been cheating, Mark, like you can on this. I mean, and look, Mark, historically, paternity tests have been used by women trying to corral guys, you know, into court to say, look, you get this tested because you are the father. And it's the guy saying, oh, no, no, no. Unless it's the case of Anna Nicole Smith, who, you know, everybody wanted to get in part of that paternity test, Mark. Lise, that's a red herring, and it's irrelevant, and you know it. The fact of the matter is the DNA test helps the man because the man wants to know that he's not one of these defrauded guys. And the fact of the matter is women are having, you know, 40% of children are being born out of wedlock today, and they're accusing men left and right. You're the father, you're the father. If women don't know who the father is, that means that they're sluts, and that's what's happening oh, today. Oh, all right, all right, look, Mark, <laughs> you ask any unmarried, single, divorced woman who's <laughs> raising a child or more, and she will tell you that the cost, doctors, dentists, uh, school, everything that comes with a child is way outweighed by anything that a non-custodial parent would ship in. The fact that you think that, men, that women are cashing in on kids is absolutely ridiculous. Single women out there have a hard time just even getting their kids through high school with the hope that maybe a few pennies will come in from dads who are reluctant to pay anything who have to be dragged into court to take a paternity test, Mark. Lisa, I just, you know, I just believe in following the money. Two names come to mind. Heather Mills, and this Lauren Cleary, who was on oh, the gee. talk show the other okay. night, moment of truth. Wait a minute. Red herrings. Red herrings. I'm infidelity. seeing red herrings. Not a, not a red herring. Most women act like uh, Heather Mills. I told you this before. It's just a difference of scale. That's the reason. Look, if women thought raising a child was so expensive, then they would just forego all child support. You know, the, the reason they want what? the reason they want to what? snag that men is because they want no the child sense. support. No, that makes They it, want oh, the child support. Mark. That's why they do it. If the okay. courts would say, if the courts would say, if you're an unwed mother, no welfare, no child support. Guess how many women would have babies out of wedlock? Zero. Oh. Mark, first of all, it takes two to make a baby. I don't know, you know, you've probably never been in that position, but it takes two, and no, and you can, there's no women out there that are going to say they're going to have a baby. And we're not talking about, uh, we're not talking about, we're not talking about any kind of special alimony for women. We're talking about child support, support for children that are, that Lise, are bred again, by two again, people. Lise. If unwed mothers would not get any child support, they would Mark, not have babies out of you wedlock. Are off you come the ranch from you come again. I don't least, know what corral you know, you're you living in. You come from the world of wind chimes and meadows and puppy dogs and <laughs> sunflowers, but you don't come from the you're real in world, the least. Crazy Women land. commit paternity fraud all the time. I just read you statistics at the beginning of the segment. Those are and you real know what? statistics. None of those. And lots none, of women you know, are lying really about the real It's really interesting that none of those stats actually get into a courtroom where you have to have reasonable evidence. There's a reason for that, Mark, because they don't belong in a courtroom, these tests. Okay, As Lisa. Ronald Reagan used to say, trust but verify. States should make yeah. DNA testing and if, mandatory. If, you, if you're taking paternity every tests baby in a marriage, born, if you're taking every paternity baby tests born. in a marriage, you've got bigger Lisa. problems than Lisa. a paternity Lisa. test. Lisa, the last words. You had the first. Taking, Go ahead, Lisa. If you've, got, if you've got issues about paternity tests in a marriage, you've got bigger problems than that paternity test. You know, at 200 it's just okay. like that's a, it, that's Lisa, it. it's just like a prenup. Goodbye, Mark. Goodbye, Mark. Goodbye, Mark. Goodbye, Lisa.